So round two it is. So we're coming off the back of 11 under. That is a very, very good spot to be. Everything that I have seen this round seems to be way harder. High, moderate, moderate default. So definitely probably some faster green speeds, higher wins. A little bit, yeah. Less soft. We're going to have to probably be a bit more on point. Is what it uh what it is relaying to me. So let's see what we can do here. We got 302 yards. Get out to like 316 and then the wind. You can probably You can maybe carry. I'm just gonna try and hit it. I'm probably just gonna try and hit it stock here. Push slow. That's just completely the wrong direction. I kind of wanted to brush up against that wind a little bit. We might get lucky here. Okay. I've got to swing a little bit more, uh... Not aggressive, but with a little bit more confidence, I guess. This six iron is like danger close to not clearing. Cause it's like mid 190s, I can guarantee to there and then it's trusting the wind the rest of the way. So I feel like five iron. This is gonna be a little bit bizarre. Got to hit with confidence. That is not with confidence. Why am I so bad at like just giving the prop like give it a give it a whack. Give it a whack. Don't be so so tentative. Didn't know what to do with your life when you got home yesterday? Well, I I guess I should feel honored that I'm so integrated into your schedule. Like, that has to be a bit of an honor for me. Okay, so aim it towards... Towards the back of the green. I'm actually gonna not... I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and roll this out. I think. I overhit it. How did I manage a 100% swing? What? Oh, man. All right. All right. Keep your head on straight. Keep your head on straight. It is definitely not out of the question for us to be able to do something with this. Okay, I'm gonna we'll we'll take the par with with a heavy heart. <laughs> with a heavy heart here, we will we will take the par, but ah, man, I can't believe I, I thought I thought I was hitting that uh that splash shot a lot less. You sat looking out your out of a rainy window thinking what's the excuse this time? And then you said I should probably check Check Discord or Twitter for for an update. Cause I at least I at least air my excuses out in in public. Yeah, whether whether you guys whether you guys bite on them or not, that's a different story. But Feel like six irons too much. I'm gonna just trust that the moderate actually takes a little bit here. Can get some bounce and roll out. Yeah. 
There we go. 102 is a little bit more than anticipated. Fuck yeah. Seven iron, definitely the right call. 102 is a bit much. Got our power, or got our, uh, got our tempo, but. Wait, hey, default greens are actually slower. Okay, that's interesting. So we got 129 default, 134, so. Definitely can be less scared of the greens in that regard. Still moderates. So definitely still have to be. You know, mildly concerned there, but. It's a little bit low. Even even with the the slight shank into the direction. That's manageable. Do we want to get down to pitch? We didn't mess with pitch on the last... Well, the only thing is the approach angle that we get. Because if we're here, we've got five yards to work with. But I guess if we're going for a wedge, you don't really care about that. See, that's, that's like the opposite end. Apparently, like, I either swing it fairly straight with the slow, or I, like, really yank it. Like, terrible swing play in NFS. So there's just something that, like, I can't quite reconcile in my head right now. Moderate, and then I think if I give it just a little bit here... Got it. I have to just, I have to account for the wind, especially if we slow it most of the time and it fate, like, we don't have a lot of room over there. Maybe I don't need the roll, because maybe then it uh, takes a little bit sharper to the hole. Oh man, that would have been that would have been something. We'll we'll take the bird though. Get on the board here. Yo, what's going on, Turd Ferguson? How we doing? Welcome back. All right. With the way this round seems to play, like, and now I shouldn't go in with that expectation because if other people aren't scoring, you know, I shouldn't go in with the mentality of, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be too hard and you can't score. Like, got to go in with the mentality of, okay, let's get it. Well, that's one in the books and we've got, we've got plenty more golf left. Yeah, what's going on, Skyline? Welcome back. Just relaxing? Love it. Think it's becoming a trend? I, I think more than you have to call me Z-Unit for it to be a trend, but yeah. It's trending in my area right now. We got 148. It's tucked on that right hand or that left hand side. Is this different than J unit? It's also different than G unit or any other of the uh, letters in the alphabet. Got beer league coming up. How has that been for you? Has that competition been fun? I'm surprised, for some reason, I expected there to be a little bit more for a number of players in that. I think it's like in the 50s right now, right? Something like that. Is 
This is definitely short. I think 8 iron, maybe with some loft and backspin instead of trying to squeeze that 9 out. Slowed it. Slow is at least towards the mid part of the green. That distance though. Oh, look at that distance. It would have been so good. It would have been so good. Oh, it's 64. Okay. JUnit is just a testing framework for Java. Well, the first, the first problem with that is Java. Come on, good stroke. Freaking excellent stroke, there we go. Woo, boy, all right. Birdie and an eagle? Love it. Love it. 2,800 players signed up for Beer League, but only around 64 have played. That might be... I feel like that has some sort of shared number with the, um, the, like, full pool of people in, like, the TGC system. I have a standalone library for the program to function. I have I have many issues with with Java Kara. My biggest one is string manipulation is the stupidest thing. Like it just it doesn't Yeah. It's so bad. I had to like hop in and do a little bit of work once. Um for like a mobile app, an Android mobile app, and it used Java. And we were doing like reporting stuff, like generating reports. And so there was like filling in and string manipulation. Like I had to, I was trying to insert text into a string. I think it, what is it? Like string streams or not? No, what is it? I forget, I don't wanna go back. It was a dark time. This is a very, very dark time. Okay, so I can get this out to like somewhere in here, but then that's 20 yards to roll a seven iron. So I'm just gonna put some loft into the six. How nerdy are we gonna get, Skyline? Very nerdy. I'm a software dev, don't you know? Nerdy, nerdy is my job. No, 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 stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling. No easy storage for it, splitting strings, mashing it all together, and then you have to worry about all the float. Yeah, it, like, it was just a mess. I hated everything about it. I just remember being like, oh, this should be easy, right? Like... All I gotta do is insert some text next to you, like three days later. <laughs> You're like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> like this absolutely sucks. All right, well, we're out the gates. We're out the gates here with a little, a little something, something. That's 
Downhill, back uphill. I think we can... I think we got to take hybrid. I think if I go up to three wood, even with the uphill, I think we end up in a spot where we've got too close of a shot. Automatic garbage collection. <laughs> yeah, that was like probably the only thing that I've done in, in Java, aside from the semester of Java that we are we were required to take in college. Other than that, my career has consisted of C, C++, and uh, mostly C++, JavaScript, and Python. And I much prefer it that way. Java can stay out of my life. I don't need it. Don't need it. Does, you know, what's her, what's her name? The lady who talks about the things that, that bring you joy? Java does not bring me joy. I, I have removed it from my life. No, oh, I pushed it though. But wind, kick left, roll to the hole. That was sad. My wife, Santa, what? No, the, uh, there's like a TV lady who does like decluttering and, and stuff. And her whole thing is like, does this bring you joy? I forget what her name is though. I mean, I, I know of her because of my wife. Gotta turn, man. I kind of was wondering if that was gonna be the case. I was kind of wondering if that was gonna be the case. Uh, decluttering lady brings you joy. That sounds weird. Ah, Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo, that's her name. Sue... Johansson? I have never heard of that woman. It was most definitely Marie Kondo. I don't know what the name of her show is. This isn't an advertisement. It was but a reference. <laughs> it was but a reference. This wind, I feel like you gotta de-loft it, right? Because that's way too much club. Pretty center green. It's gonna give this some de-loft. Just a little bit. the wind a little bit oh but that feeds the perfect direction all right getting getting a helping hand getting a helping hand this towards the hole a little bit I'm still a little bit hesitant about that strategy. Like I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it firmer, taking the break out a little bit, but I feel like I can use that. I don't know, it's six feet starting to feel like it's too aggressive. Weird Al song, White and Nerdy? Yeah, cause that was the Ride and Dirty parody. Might be before my time? No, no, that album was like... I don't 
what, Ride and Dirty was like 2005, 2006 time frames? I mean, it was the end of elementary school. Twas a, twas a good song. For a long time, I knew all the words. Like, I knew if, if Ride and Dirty came on, I knew more of the words to White and Dirty than I did Ride and Dirty for a little while. Now I would argue that I probably know. Well, actually, I don't know. If I listened to White and Nerdy, it probably would come back to me a little bit more. I at least know Ride and Dirty's lyrics a bit better at this point. Okay. I'm going to hit stock 9 iron here. We might be... I'm actually going to give it just a touch because I think it's going to be a little long. But I just am scared of short. The wind's changing a little bit more. Oh no, I did too much. I did too much. Okay. Lucky that we hold on because of look at this slope. But I definitely should have played it closer to stock. Yeah, it was a uh, chameleon air and crazy bones or something like that. Needed to turn a little bit at the end. I hit it firm. So it's the right read. I think even with the right power, like just like a percentage lower than that, it just scares me when it goes flying at the hole that fast because it definitely could lip. We just catch it like a hair head on enough like just a hair head on enough okay wind is a play in that's for sure but i think if we play a little bit of fade into it oh i forget that we have like the flight boost so like the wind off the tee shot is definitely not as definitely not as aggressive okay so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make the mistake that i just did i'm gonna hit i'm gonna hit sandwich i'm not gonna hit sandwich stock All right, I'm, I'm going to hit sandwich stock. I'm going to miss the tempo here, but I'm not going to do what I did on that last on that last hole, which is make too many adjustments and end up end up way short. What can I have done better than oh, well, Skyla, I feel like that's how you improve, right? Like analyze like it's you have to kind of make note, in my opinion, or at least the way that I view things. You have to make note of when what you expected matches matches what happens, right? And if there's something different, gotta reconcile it. That's how I look at it, at least. Whoa. Alright, well, I was never gonna see that. That broke so much in the opposite direction. Maybe I wasn't looking for the right things, but... Hey, what's going on, Eddie? Okay, so I feel like... 
I feel like that information is very quickly making the rounds, so... Has that just been discussed here, or is it like uh, everybody is telling their friends and there's a forum post about it? Type of thing, like, what? what is the... what is the current... Status? I'm gonna take three wood. That's slow. No, it's not as bad as I thought. I just think here, if I take driver, I'm gonna end up way out of position. Just lurking around- okay. I, I- I- here's the thing, I never know. Right, I'm not sitting here staring at a- at a viewer list. That'd be a lot of stuff to- <laughs> to keep track of. TGC is on Meltdown will temporarily close until there's a patch. Sorry guys, just a, just a broken game. Alright, I was gonna give this some loft, hopefully it's uh, the right call. That felt fast, yeah. That's not... Too bad if it settles. It's gonna roll a bit. Loft definitely helps sit that down. People hiding it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, show it off and be like, hey, here's a thing that exists. You know, do, do with that information what you will, but... Definitely, like, uh, leave it out there type thing so that it's known. Ah! Finally, uh, finally one of them I didn't give enough to it. What is it, Skyline? Um, so if you practice putt and then reset the shot, you have a putter animation and lack of tempo. That being said, it doesn't work for everything. And I'm not ever going to use it in actual play because it's definitely cheating. Doesn't work on short game because it defaults you back, like it overrides it to a normal shot. But like a shot like this, this pitching wedge, I can make it tempo-less. Hoping for putt preview. Had no luck finding a putt preview glitch, sorry. A little bit fast, but a push, and that's gonna definitely help. Not enough loft on the shot. Cheat engine in PC? That's true. I have I have zero idea what you could do with cheat engine and if it would be detected at all. Like I don't know what what there is or if there is actually any sort of anti-cheat stuff. The only thing that I've ever used Cheat Engine for is, like, um, Dark Souls mods. About to absolutely pop up. <laughs> in before, in before some sort of, in before it's actually a detectable thing. All right, I've gotta play. I think a little bit more loft. 
than I think. Because last time I went long, so I'm going to play a little bit more on it. I overhit it. Hopefully the loft, though, that should be good. Okay, I still need to read those a little bit more on the break. Just a little bit more. Because I'm, I'm making those putts, but I'm definitely on the low side. If I take three wood, I should be able to get this out to the fairway pretty well. Favorite N64 game? I didn't have an N64. Any Mario is cheap but acceptable. So N64, I always played at my at my cousin's house or my or a friend of mine. So my my pool of games is not not that large. I've touched like I've played little bits of the GoldenEye and Perfect Dark games on those. As far as the ones that I have the most experience with, there's gotta be and it's gotta be Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, though, I've only played. I don't think I made it past too early into that, so probably meant Mario 64, because I think that I've actually gotten 120 stars on. Because I had the DS version of it. We're going pitching wedge. Gonna give it some win. Or gonna give gonna give it some win. We're gonna give it some spin. Play it out towards more center green. Cause it is on that left hand side, so just wanna make sure we can give ourselves a putt. Oh, come on. It's not gonna release though, because I put spin on it. That's like, that's the one downside. <laughs> that is absolutely the one downside there is, well, didn't, didn't put it on. So what am I supposed to expect of it? Or I didn't, I, I put it on, so. Definitely have to be anticipating the lack thereof. Good, good to note, good to note. Did end up breaking a bit more. Is that like mid to end part that was just completely mismanaged, I guess, would be the way to, be the way to say that. I'm like aimed out over the bunkers. I can definitely play this more over here than I think. For whatever reason, it felt like the arrows in the yardage book were not lining up quite as much. This is 193 to the front. 196 carry. We've got a pretty good lie. A little bit of wind. Somewhere into there. I can't tell if it's flat or uphill to the hole at all. The shot's definitely going to come off. 
to the left. Bring some wind back right. Give it a little bit of loft. I 102'd it, but I slowed it. I don't know, the combination looks really good. Oh, it was really good. That's it. That's it. It was so good. I, I think I would have preferred the 100 or 101 just to get me a little bit closer, but giving ourselves a chance for what, like a third eagle? It's a bit left to right. It's actually left to right the whole way. It's downhill an inch, so I'm still gonna actually hit it a little bit firmer. I just don't look at the swing plane. Just don't. Don't look at my swing plane. Okay. Good talk. Yo, what's going on, bowling points? I've been exploiting it to the max. Yeah, how do you think we're scoring so well here? Clearly. Clearly exploiting my way. Duh. Alright, we're going hybrid. No, I mean the big the big difference, like if we're being completely serious, the putting, I mean the approach game's been pretty good, but the putting has been way higher conversion rate. Like way higher conversion rate on those medium putts. Sure we're not scoring a ton on the long, but we're also not seeing as many long. Hmm. It's gonna be too short. This wedge is gonna be long, so I'm gonna give it just a little bit on here. Might be a little bit long, but I think we've got room to work with on it. I 102'd it again, but it's actually looking quite nice. Yes, please, and thank you. Let's hit it firm. Wind, we have the flight boost. I feel like we pierced the wind quite well. But here's the thing, so I could play this safe, but I actually think I want to play this with a little bit of a fade and try and get up towards that gap because it does create a little bit of an angle for us on the approach. If we can keep this fed out towards the gap, we're down here far enough. We're like, now we just have not a ton more, but just the littlest bit more of room to to operate in here. Now, we are a bit in between clubs. Like, that's a 17-yard gap to close down. I don't think the wind is that particularly strong. Like, it's it's definitely strong enough. I'm gonna play it more towards center green. I'm gonna give it just a touch of loft. Like, just. Yeah, just a touch. Slow push, but we. We are, like, safely set up for that. I think perfect is a little bit long, but we're center green. I just didn't want to risk, like, hitting it fast and then finding myself off of the green. Now, admittedly, we don't have an easy putt. It's a foot downhill. 
continues to run downhill behind it. So we're going to definitely be playing on the side of caution here. Actually feels fairly flat maybe a little bit right to left and then a touch or a bit left to right and then right to left at the end I think I'm gonna hit it like here just inside left hopefully it bleeds out and then bleeds back but I'm I'm expecting to just leave it kind of short to the hole here That feels a little firm. There's the drift. Oh, I just didn't quite come back at the end. So like really all all in all not a bad read. I saw the I saw the left to right movement in it. The right to left was a little bit more of a like straighten the ball out at the end. Was it enough to like turn it for us? That's not bad. Okay, this shot. Gotta hit this with some confidence. Probably need to play this also out towards center green. Now, this would be a six iron. Definitely short. I'm probably going to play the five iron. Not a punch. I just want the five iron full. Little bit of... A little bit of fade, a little bit of loft. Gonna play this out towards center green. I, we just don't want to be in the water. Now we're definitely not gonna be in the water. And that's a that's a mental one. That's that right there is fully mental. Just. Everything, everything is geared towards don't be wet. So what do you do? Well, you hit it as far to the right as you possibly can. Nothing, nothing more, uh, nothing more simple about it than that. I should have full braked it. I thought with it being slower greens, I knew it was downhill, but I thought with it being slower greens, I could maybe, just maybe get the brakes on it a little bit more. Clutch, clutch save there. Clutch save on that putt. <sighs> All right, if we take this 305 to that, yeah, this is gonna shoot the gap just fine. Just trust the swing, hit it straight. Little bit of a push slow, uh, that's, not good. Get a lucky bounce, but it's going right into the bunker, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That was like, uh, I think the thumb just kind of out of fear. Didn't really come off of the joystick. Kind of like slipped going forward. It was like, okay, hit it straight. Don't hit it fast. What does not fast mean? That means slow kind of push it and lose control. Okay, so we've got 80 to 90% here. It's the wind that concerns me, but I feel like 
I feel like if I take this shot... I feel like I've got to play... some shape into it. Maybe deloft the 7 iron instead of just going after it with the 6. And we got as high of a roll as you possibly can. Oh, but it feeds. Okay. Feeds to the left a little bit. It's not just a roll off green, so that's fortunate. End up giving ourselves a downhiller, but it's for 13 feet. All right, that's reading a little bit right to left. Flat-ish at the start. I can't tell if we've got a little bit of left to right at our feet. Feels like it a touch, actually. So if we play this back... Just going off of what we did before... Not gonna expect too much break back at the end. Expect the left to right at the start. Ends up being, ends up being a bit more straight. All right, so some some tough reads there, making some assumptions. I probably am over, over reading that one a little bit. But 11 under, 12 under to start, especially because this round seemed to have been playing a lot tougher from what I had seen other people score. Okay, so yeah, we out outscored the pack, separated by one, and we see a lot of names there are in the single digits, so definitely, definitely a very good position going into the weekend, so we're gonna, we're gonna come back with round three and hopefully fire away.